There are two sides to this story. The person I am and the person before me, my other. It's the side society says to ignore. But how can I ignore him when he only starts wars? He's a mental, physical, spiritual whore. Give him any possession, he'll only demand more. More for himself because that's the only thing he cares for. In the silence of my mind, he stalks his prey. His tactics are wicked, causing real me to stray. He's desperate, bloodthirsty to drop another name. He knows just how to play the game. And don't tell me it's easy to keep him tame. Because he knows me better than I know myself. His tactics are wicked to keep me down. Just when I think I have him this time around, he rationalizes how much better it will feel here and now. He flashes memories I want to forget. Until I'm hook, line, and sinker, a fish caught in his net. It's these memories that haunt me day and night. The memories that show me how feeble my might, how pointless it is to put up a fight. The things that I did in the absence of light, when my innocence faded so far out of sight. And sometimes I just have to tell him he's right. Because he doesn't leave me alone. And when I have no one else, he lives in my phone. Come on, preacher man, put off your shame. Everyone does it, it's part of the game. Just get a wife and kids, it'll all fade away. You make love sound like sex with a different name. I can't see your mercy, God, I'm so covered in shame. I can't seem to sleep when I don't feel worthy to pray. I'm so scared of the night, God, show me the light of day. Distract me, destroy me, just rid me of this pain. There's something missing, God. Show me what I lack. This feeling feels so friendly until it stabs me in the back. But if it hurts so much, then why do I keep going back? Why do I keep going back? Why do I keep going back? This is the battle that no one else sees. The war with myself. Me versus me. Because the world thinks my other isn't so ugly. Downing drinks and getting laid is what they want to see. They'd probably prefer my other in all honesty. But in a world full of others, I'm just trying to be me. The person my God created me to be. And if you're wanting my other, you might as well leave. Because I choose life over his selfish needs. I won't be convinced to do as they please. I won't beat his hunger while my real self bleeds. I won't be a statistic of this filthy disease. I won't let my story play contingent to hypocrisy. Consider this the final end. An effort to try and make amends where the other stops and the real begins. And if you didn't believe me then, believe me now, my brother. I'm choosing full-time me over part-time other.